All right. Um, so Pico 8 costs $15, and there have been a couple of things that happened recently where you can enjoy most of the features uh, without having to pay the license. One is the educational version of Pico 8, which is official, uh, and you can check that out. It, it can load carts, it can develop carts, and you can save carts. Do just about everything except use the Splore feature. And then this came out on Steam. This is PEMSA. So PEMSA is a player uh, that will run the carts, and it has all of the featured carts um, preloaded with it. So let's take a quick look here. All right, let's give it a shot, see how it goes. Mm. Uh oh. Is it going to force me to be in full screen? I think it does. I think it's forcing me to be in full screen. All right, hang on a second. Oh no. We're okay. Okay. And we'll just get this out of the way. All right. So this is kind of like Splore. Um, is it reading my joystick? Yes, it is. Um, except what you're seeing here are all native files. Uh, the question is, will it let me get to... I can't get to a console. I can just go back to the menu. So I see a lot of games that I recognize. Celeste, right? I actually have reached a point where I'm having a difficult time in actual Pico 8 finding the actual Celeste because so many people have modded it that uh, you're going to find people's mods before you find the actual game. Uh, Alright. Yeah. Can we go straight up? Up. Come on, I know we can go straight up. Got it. Nope. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Who's the man? Disappearing platforms. Always my favorite thing. Not something I despise. Uh, Mega Man had him, so if Mega Man had him, you know, it's good enough for Mega Man. It wasn't at all the most hated part of Mega Man, was it? Alright. hoping for. That's alright. Okay. Is that just the way to continue here? No, it isn't. Where am I continuing? I guess I have to get to... Oh, right. Upwards. Duh. That makes sense. One more time. Got it. All right. Now I have no idea what to do. Oh, I can do it twice. Ah. I guess only at one time. Oh, the clouds are platforms. Ah, okay. Fun. Mm. All right, that's Celeste. Let's see what else we have. A um, few games I recognize, a few games I don't. Let's see what else I recognize. Mm, low Mem Sky. <laughs> I like it. Mm. One room dungeon. 
Pico Racer. I played that. Another really hard game. <laughs> but very cool. Very cool. And you can't, since you can't get to the console, one of the things about Pico 8 is that any one of these games, you know, when you're playing off the authentic Pico 8, you can press escape and look at all the code and all the sprites and everything that makes it up. E and each one of these games are just wide open for you to do whatever with. I mean, that's the reason why when it comes to Celeste, there's all those, uh, um, like mods and, and, and different versions of it. Mm. There's a lot in here. Sweet Buns. I've never played that, but I've seen this one around. That <laughs> looks a lot like Celeste, but not quite. Underworld Siege. Have I played that before? This sounds familiar. I think I may have played this one before. It looks a lot like uh, Dungeon Keep, Dungeon Keeper. Hey, got him. All right, we'll take this guy. This is kind of cool. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, the goblins do the collecting and I guess this guy does the fighting. Great, let's go get those heroes. Orc. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I'll try that one another time. So this is free on Steam. You can uh, go check this out. And one of the things I think is really cool is take a look at this. If you go uh, the data file uh, for the game is primarily just carts like you just um, you just drop should be able to just drop uh pico 8 carts in here and run it from the player let's give it a shot i'm gonna see if it can run um the program that i made myself in pico 8 hang on all right so i have dragged it and dropped it i actually have the working png um for my little program and now let me just change back to oops not that yeah there we go I would imagine I'm going to have to restart, but I'm going to check to see. Uh, back to menu. It started with H, so it's not going to be there. Okay. We are going to quit, and we'll reload the program. That's actual Pico 8 there. Hold on. We want uh, the launcher. Okay. Pressing F11 gets me out of full screen. Yeah, here we go. Hold on. I think this is still pulling actual Pico 8. No, no it isn't. It's working. We just double tap here and then here. And then we should do it. All right, hang on. Why is it showing me this? There we go. All right, now we're set. So let's see if it will load my cartridge now. Mm. So it's not under file name, but if we go under R, P, R. Really? It's uh, it's not okay. So I guess it only it really only runs the pack and stuff, or maybe it can't have uh it can't be a PNG. Hang on. Let's try that. Let's see if I can just get rid of the PNG extension. All right, so now it's P8. Okay, and back to menu. You have G. Oh, now it's freezing. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. So that's it. Uh, it, it can play a, a bunch of the, uh, like the classic Pico 8 games. 
<laughs> but I'm trying to load my own game in and it's bombing out. And this is a game that, I mean, there's not much to it. It's like a real simple program. Um, I don't know, but that's PEMSA. If you want to play, uh, if you want to play the original Celeste and some other fun games for free, super small and it's free and um, it's a thing. Let's take a look at the education version of Pico 8. All right, so this is uh, the education version and it runs directly from the browser. And the way it works is it reads the, um, your, move that over like that so you can see a little better. It, it reads your downloads folder as the disk. So if we do ls, it's going to show my downloads folder currently has no Pico 8 games in it. Uh, if you try Splore, not available in this free version. However, what is available is all the development tools, right? Uh, function, init, and function, update and function draw and what we could do clear the screen print nope come on fart it wants a comma here too doesn't it yeah, there we go. Now the question is, can I save that? All right. Save fart. Fart.pi. So we uh, if we go to, yep, and sure enough, the browser is now showing a download of that file has been made. Um, so now if we do ls, we have untitled, because that's what it makes by default, and we have fart. So let's see if I can take the cart that I built that wasn't working on PEMSA and drop it in my downloads folder and see if it'll load here. All right, I have dropped it in my downloads folder. I don't know if I'm gonna have to reload this. Uh, yeah, it looks like I will. That's all right. F5 that thing, reboot. No? Man, that stinks. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. There is a way to do it. I'm pretty sure, because uh, I tried this before, you drag it and drop it right on the browser. There we go, and that's how it loads. Yeah, that's actually not so bad. We can blow this up, and then run. Yeah, and then you can run my little uh, hex program that I've been working on. Yay! And you can edit it, and you can make all the changes. And if you're a chiptune guy, you can make chiptunes with the tracker. Yeah, you can do all the stuff. So this is this is Pico 8, man. Um, the splore function that's missing from this version is so good. I'm really glad that I bought the uh, the primary license anyway, because I I love playing the splore games. However. Uh, this is enough to get started programming. And I will say that this version, it has, if you go to the upper left, you've got tutorials right here, saving cartridge, manual tutorials and stuff. You can, this is a really good place to get going. So uh, if you've never messed with Pico 8, here's a good place to do it. I'll put links down in the description uh, where you can play this version as well as the Steam version if you feel like it. Uh, the Steam version just came out yesterday. So I have a feeling a lot of that stuff's going to get patched out. But we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching.